goes through your mind sitting in that chair and, and can you imagine the stories can you imagine like the information that's been muttered <laughs> around this desk um, and there's some interesting stories about this desk about how it was recovered but the bottom line is you know this was where Wayne spent now granted and Wayne has written about this, Wayne's preference was to be outdoors. Mm -hmm. But when confined to the indoors, like he was in this picture, he sat here. In that chair? In this chair, at working at this desk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a... Uh, what an honor. It is, it is, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I can only imagine. Uh, you know, Wayne was a very colorful character as well. Personality, for sure. Yeah, and I can only imagine some of the things that were uttered uh, <laughs> and were discussed in the presence of this desk. You yeah. Know, Wayne Bailey and I are very similar people. Uh, we grew up very similar backgrounds uh, in a similar part of the world. Wayne grew up in West Virginia and I grew up in Virginia. And as you know, Wayne was a passionate turkey hunter, but he also wrote extensively about mm -hmm. not only his hunting, um, follies and activities, if you will, but he wrote prolifically about the bird, mm -hmm. the bird's biology. And, and in many ways, you know, Wayne, his true passion was, came from hunting wild turkeys. And then he secondarily began studying them mm -hmm. for restoration purposes. And, and my path is very similar. Mm -hmm. I, I started hunting turkeys as a child and then ended up with a passion for for studying that curiosity kicked in. yeah so that yeah. intellectual curiosity that drove wayne to not only want to hunt that bird before it was extinct but to also study the bird and learn as much as he could through his own observations and through study of the bird that that same calling is what's driven me to have a very similar career path in many ways as wayne at the time that he was cutting his teeth as a biologist, restoration was failing in many ways. That the, the use of game farm birds and and he saw that the use of wild birds that were trapped and transported would be a potential way of of restoring wild turkey. So, fast forward to this man who was clearly passionate and driven to restore wild turkeys, which is why he's widely considered to be, you know, the grandfather of wild turkey mm -hmm. restoration because he spent so much of his career singularly focused on putting this bird back on the landscape where it should be. People like Wayne who grow up appreciating the natural world in wherever they grew up and people like Wayne who recognize the relevance and importance of, of natural resources, in this case, wild turkeys. But, you know, Wayne hunted a number of small game species and he loved to be outside and he was a steward. I, I think people with that ethic recognize the importance of the natural world that they live in and they seek ways to ensure that the metrics of that world, if you will, are maintained through time and if possible, improved. Mm -hmm. And that that mindset, I think, having ne never met Wayne, but viewing his life and career from the outside, I think that defined who he was as a person. Mm -hmm. I, get that. I believe that touches back on those teaching groups. Yeah, you understand yeah for sure. That um, there's other people that have the same challenges and see the same thing I see maybe in a little different context but if i can take what i've learned here and, and get apply it somewhere else yeah right that's right that's right and and to that point i would say that parallels with wild turkey lab and, and your work your life's work you mm -hmm. know and, and what culturally is is a very top of mind today when it comes to the wild turkey uh thank you yeah and then you know it's, it's always cliche it's always sounds cliche well let's leave it better than right. when we found it you know but in reality, that's, that is how Wayne lived his life. Right. I mean, he sought to... Well, the cliches because they're true. That's right. I mean, <laughs> he sought ways to make, to leave, the, in this case, the wild turkey world better than he found it. And he certainly did that. Mm -hmm. Had he not had the passion that he, that he had, had he not had the work ethic that he had, restoration would not have proceeded as it did.